Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Um, today we are doing Amazon, like my recent Amazon purchase slash my Amazon must-haves for renting or for a new like house, whatever your situation might be. We moved here, as some of y'all might know, from Dallas to over to Illinois. We owned in Dallas. Now in Illinois, we are renting because we don't know how long we're gonna be here. So I wanted to share with you some of my must-haves for rental. I've rented so many different places in my life. Um, I thought we were done, but we're not. So I wanted to share with you some of my must-haves that have been tried and true over years, but then other ones that I found new when we moved here and I just feel like these videos are helpful if you're moving out or you just moved in and you're looking for things that you need to furnish your place, clean your place, um, just everything. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I've got a couple of different categories. We've got bathroom, we've got kitchen, we've got bedroom slash closet, then I've got cleaning supplies, cleaning things, and then miscellaneous. So, so. let's go ahead and start with bathroom. My first absolute must have if you have a glass situation in your shower is a shower squeegee. I love getting a new one every time we move or every so often because obviously they just go bad like the squeegee part, that rubber part gets like deteriorated and whatnot. And when we moved here, I knew I wanted one that hung on the wall, um, but that wasn't going to leave terrible, you know, like issues because Obviously with renting you want to make sure that you're not damaging the walls as best as possible Our landlord currently is not super um, Into us drilling anything into the walls or doing anything like that. I don't blame him. I get it But just as a heads up most of these things are going to be temporary um, Things if you're living in an apartment so a shower squeegee is a must-have first and foremost Why it's so important is you squeegee every time you get out of the shower It cuts back on your cleaning like of the glass because that hard water can, can like build up on the shower glass and just become impossible to get off so if you're doing it continuously You don't have to worry about cleaning it save you a lot of time cleaning regularly, but it'll also save you a ton of time and those expensive bills when you go to move out and they have to have somebody like really go to town on those doors because it's just a mess. And we know those doors aren't like super sturdy, like they're those sliding ones. So they can be really hard to get the right grip to scrub all that off. So highly recommend a shower squeegee. And every once in a while, I will just take and spray everything down and then squeegee again. And that's my only cleaning that I do to those shower doors. I swear, you need a shower squeegee. This one's awesome. I like that it has a hook and you can remove the sticky stuff with no issues at all so you don't have to drill anything into the wall. So yes, that's my first must have. Moving right along, staying in the shower though, these Tula Tree little sticky silicone things are an absolute must for pretty much any shower that you're in as long as it's not like the wall. <laughs> um, it will stick. So if it's tile, if it's um, plastic for our case here at this bathroom, glass, anything, you can stick these anywhere. They're awesome because, and why I love them because they're so rental friendly, is because you can take them to any different place you move. So these are awesome. It comes with a fog-free mirror. Um, we use them to hold our razors. Scott brushes his teeth in the shower sometimes, so he keeps his toothpaste in there. These are awesome, and again, so amazing for rentals because you don't have to drill anything into the walls, and you don't have to worry about leaving it there because you can't like get it off without destroying the item itself or the wall. So these things are amazing. Highly recommend. I think they would be a great Christmas gift, stocking stuff, or anything like that. I'm obsessed with these. All right, next thing is something that's not quite, I don't know, a fun thing to talk about but it's toilet brushes. And I tend to get new ones every so often because they get really gross. Even if you clean them right, sanitize them, they just get gross. So I really like that this pack comes with two because most places, if you're not living in a one bedroom, have two bathrooms at least. We actually have three, but we have two on one floor and then one on another floor. So we just have, we just share them. I like these ones specifically because they're a little cleaner. They're not like your typical white I don't know, boring one, but they are a little bit more sleek. They're super small, so I can hide it right behind the toilet, but if you can see it, it's not a big deal because they're black, and they have chrome, like a stainless steel top, so I think they look really nice, and I just think that I love 
that the brush is black. <laughs> I don't know why. I just feel like sometimes like that hard water stain can leave like a weird color. So the black is really nice. And these are awesome. You can replace just the heads, which is cool, but you can get a two pack on Amazon for super cheap. So new toilet bro brushes, it's probably the number one thing that people leave behind when renting a place. So you always just want to get new ones. You don't really want to like pack your toilet bowl brushes with you from one place to another because that's just disgusting. Okay, so moving to this place um, was a significant decrease in our storage space, bathrooms, closets, everything. So I had to get real creative with those sort of things. And for instance, our bathroom in this current place is much lower, like everything is lower to the ground. And so I was like, this is so annoying. How am I gonna store all my skincare and hair care and makeup? Because my previous one, I was like, it was probably, two foot off the ground. So I had some like, I didn't have to like break my back and get on the ground to do it. So I knew I had to get a creative with storage and these little pull out storage bins were awesome for so many different reasons. They're stackable so you can fit two on each. I have one for makeup and hair, hair accessory situations and then one for fully skincare. They're awesome for multiple reasons. You can pull them out, so they're super easy to just grab a product or two, or two, or you can completely lift the bin out, and they come with dividers inside of it so you can kind of individually place which products you want. So I love this for my makeup and my skincare, and I love that I can just pull out the whole bin, put it on my counter, get ready, put it all back, and then pop it right down underneath, and you can also just grab it sliding. This just helps from having to reach all the way down, and it keeps your products in a more organized fashion. Now, some of these bins can be so expensive, so I really wanted to hunt down and try to find one that was good quality, but one that was also not like, 50 bucks because I'm like uh, acrylic why is acrylic so expensive I don't know but I found that this system works perfectly for me and I love that it came in a pack of two so highly recommend if you have just really terrible bathroom storage or are just really low to the ground storage these can come in really handy these would also work in kitchens um, your fridge maybe whatever these can be used anywhere I just personally use mine in the bathroom all right, this next item is one that I loved for my last place, and I have it in this current place, but to be completely honest with you, they do not fit my doors. These doors are so small, so make sure you measure your bathroom doors, cabinet doors. Um, I could probably use it in the kitchen, which is probably where I'm gonna use it, but I just showed you for demonstration in a bathroom. These are awesome. I used to store my hair products, or like hair, yes, hair products. So one way I would put all of my products, like my dry shampoo, my leave-in spray, my oils, all of that in one side. And then in the other side, I would do tools. So like my blow dryer, my curling iron. I loved them that they were on the door and they just went over on hooks. You can also mount them, but again, renter friendly. We just want something that we can hang up and then take down. These are a must. These are awesome for storage. So. If your doors are big enough, highly recommend doing that. If they're not, um, then maybe pass on these. But I would say the majority of doors would probably fit it. We just have super tiny doors. So nonetheless, these are amazing and I used the heck out of them when we lived in our previous place. Even though we owned it, I still thought it was an amazing storage option. Scott had offered to drill them in, but honestly, just with the hooks was plenty like stable enough for me. All right, so that's it for bathroom. Let's go ahead and move on to the kitchen. All right, so no matter where you go, pretty much you can always recycle your items. Certain like states and whatnot have different things that you can recycle or different recycling laws. Illinois is so good with recycling, like amazing. I'm pretty sure our recycling trash bin is bigger than our regular trash bin. And it's been adjustment because Dallas was I would say they, I mean, you still recycled, but it wasn't as, as prominent. I will just say that straight out. And we had an old trash can that had like a big side for trash and then the small side for recycling. And this time we wanted just a standalone trash can, which I'll talk about, and just a standalone recycling bin. So I went onto Amazon and I got this bin. I think these are awesome to keep in the bottom of the pantry. That's where we keep ours. I just rinse everything out and then throw it in there like soda cans, um, literally anything paper um bags literally everything you can just throw it in there and then here in illinois i don't know if it's always the same everywhere but you do not need to put it in a bag which kind of is, defeats the purpose you just dump it in there and it's awesome so a recycling bin if you are trying to recycle better and be more mindful of things i love this one that i picked up off of amazon next comes in our trash can now this is something that i feel like Trash cans last a really long time, and to be honest with you, when we moved, we had a Simply Human trash can, and 
We didn't love it. It was okay. I'd had simple tr human trash cans pretty much my whole life. That's just like the trash can we always had. And to be honest with you, my previous ones would get beat up during the move, like dented and just not good. And then this one, we just did not have the space for it. So we left it for our new tenant that lives there. Um, so we wanted to get a new trash can when we moved here. We just figured it would just be worth it. So we were looking and we were like, do we really feel like Simple Human is like worth the price tag? And we both agreed, no. So we wanted to see what Amazon Basics had for trash cans. So that's what we picked. Um, and it wasn't significantly less expensive. It was still expensive, but it had everything I wanted. So my <laughs> criteria with trash cans, that it has a steppable little step at the bottom. You know what I'm talking about, to open the lid. Second of all, it has to be stainless steel without like showing fingerprints. That had that. And then third, I need the entire inside to come out so I can clean it and put the bag in and then put it in. So this checked all those boxes. So happy that we just decided to go with the Amazon Basics. I think it was like a $50 savings. It's still a pricey trash can, but the quality is amazing and yeah, so if you're like thinking if you need a simple human trash can, the answer is no, Amazon Basics has you covered. Okay, another thing um, that I'm obsessed with for the kitchen, and we just got some new ones because ours were looking really grungy, and it is bar towels. I call them kitchen towels. They're like a small cotton towel. I will leave a picture up here for you guys. Um, and these are awesome. These replace paper towels for us. We still do have paper towels for special occasions and not special occasions, for napkins or for, I don't know, random things that we might need them for. But generally speaking, we use bar towels for just about everything. And I know it can seem like that's not sanitary, but you can put them on the sanitization um, setting in your washer machine, put bleach in it, clean them. And they might not look clean all the time, but they are clean. And once they get super dirty, they become garage rags for us or cleaning rags or something like that. We use them to wipe down counters. We use them to literally do just about everything. So if you're still using paper towels for all that, ditch that, use some bar towels and just recycle them throughout your house for different reasons and different needs. Swear by them. We always just get a fresh batch every once in a while once we've kind of destroyed our current ones. So I went ahead and got some new ones for a fresh new place. And then last but not least, this isn't kitchen related, but it's in this category for some reason I left it here. It is a mini trash can. Now let's say you move to a place that you used to have a place um, that you could I don't know, easily throw away your dog crap, okay? Like, you know, the poop bags, right? Um, either you had like ones that were on the property or your trash can was really close or you had to throw away, like your garage was really close to the outside. That is not the case here. Our garage is on the lower floor and our like place where I take Winnie out is on like the half floor between the first floor and the bottom floor. Nonetheless, I wanted something that was easy to throw her stuff away in. And this trash can is awesome for multiple different reasons. Again, same thing, has the stepper. It's black because I didn't care if it was stainless steel. And I figured it'll hold it better in the climate outside. And then second of all, it has a lid that like completely closes around the whole thing. So rain is not going to get into it. Super important when you're looking for a dog outside trash can that you have something that covers the entire thing so the water don't get in there. But this is amazing if you have furry little friends you better be cleaning up after them, but you need a place to put it. In the meantime, we empty it every week when it's trash day. All right, moving along to bedroom slash closet must-haves. All right, so the first one is closet must-have, and it is these little S-hooks. I love these. I used to work for Abercrombie, and we used to display our jeans on them every once in a while, like randomly. But I loved these because our current closet is a lot smaller than our old closet and we just don't have enough like built-in cubbies and just different things that I would store my jeans in. So I wanted to get creative and I loved being able to see my jeans and the ability that this gave me. And you just hook your jeans with the belt hooks, belt loops on the hooks and it's awesome. I also do my tank tops on here to kind of alleviate some of the hanger space. Um, instead of hanging like all of them on individual hangers, I hang like three on one hook. So it helps kind of alleviate the space. You can hang purses, belts, ties, anything like that. These little S hooks are awesome. And you can hang things towards the back of your closet as well. If you have a metal uh, closet system, you can utilize like behind the hangers to hang stuff that you don't always use every single day. So I absolutely love those and I they have really helped with our closet storage. All right, and then another thing for laundry, 
closet related is a collapsible um, laundry basket. Now this is something that I have had for years now, back when I did live in an apartment because I love that it collapses because laundry baskets can just be big and bulky and if you don't have a legit laundry room, these are awesome. Even if you have a laundry room, these are nice because you just fold them up and put them away, like hide them behind the washing machine dryer. They're just so easy and convenient, so highly recommend getting these collapsible ones instead of large ones um, to carry all your laundry in. Another random bedroom find. This doesn't necessarily just have to be for the bedroom, but for us, it is a using, we are using it in our bedroom. So this is a tower fan. Now, if you already have built-in fans, you definitely don't need this. We did not have built-in fans in this place. We actually put a fan in our previous place that we owned, but obviously you don't do that in a rental. Fans are amazing. They circulate the air, they help keep your energy bills lower, like your air conditioning, your heat, because it circulates the air. This one oscillates, it has a remote control that fits in the back as well. You can put it on a timer. It tells you the temperature, which I love because we are struggling with temperature issues at our house. So it tells us the temperature, has three speeds, I love everything about it. It's a quiet fan, um, and I got this off of Amazon. I like that it's white. They do have other colors. The white just worked with us because we do have white walls. So if you do not have a fan in your rental, like it built into the ceiling, definitely grab a like a tower fan or some sort of fan to help circulate the air to make sure that you keep your energy bills a little bit lower. Okay, another thing for our bedroom is we decided not to mount any of our TVs. And that's simply because mounting TVs can cause a lot of damage to the walls, like a lot. Some places they don't care, go ahead, do it. Um, our current place, in the lease, it just said we don't want, you need to get approval to mount anything or do anything like that. So we just kind of avoided as much as we could and tried to find alternative solutions to those issues so that we didn't have to put a bunch of holes in the walls if we didn't need to. So. Our downstairs TV was fine. The legs fit on the credenza. Our bedroom TV where we stored it last time was above our dresser. And unfortunately, the legs of the TV were too wide for the dresser, so it wasn't gonna work. So we were like, crap, we might have to mount the TV. But that's when I went on Google and searched mounting stand things. I thought that that could work and they already make them. So this is awesome. It's literally just a smaller base and then you hook it to the back of the TV so it gives a little bit of a lift to your TV but helps you put it on a smaller um, like stand. So love these, these are awesome. So if you're looking for like a lifted look, you can try this, but also if your TV just doesn't fit on your dresser or whatever you're storing your TV on in a rental and you don't wanna mount it, check this out. All right, this storage system is one of my favorite ways to store Arlo's clothes. These are just three bin drawers. They come with wheels if you are on hardwood um, or tile. Uh, I took the wheels off for Arlo's room, but I love this for using like a makeshift kind of dresser. So that, let's say your current dresser, for instance, this was Arlo's dresser for his room, and it just doesn't fit in this new space. And I didn't wanna go out and buy a whole new dresser just for this temporary space. So I've already, I already owned two of these exact bins, so I knew that they were super sturdy and nice because I feel like they're smaller versus the larger, longer ones, which can be just a little less stable and kind of sag more. So I decided to put these in Arlo's closet and use it as a dresser. And I turned out to love it even more than I thought I would. So if you have kids or just whatever. Um, these are awesome for storage for them because they're lightweight. I don't have to worry about mounting it to the wall because it's not going to hurt him if it falls on him. Just put lightweight stuff in it and he can grab things himself and I don't have to worry about him getting hurt or anything like that. So these have been amazing for storage. You can use them obviously for anything. I personally use them for Arlo's clothes. All right, and then I did briefly want to talk about my favorite towels. I actually purchased these a couple months ago from our for our old place because we just needed new towels and I felt like if you're getting a new place new towels kind of can go hand in hand if let's say you just have been using towels that your parents gave you or whatever who knows right you just need new towels these Turkish towels I found on Amazon are amazing I have the full body ones and the hand towels they're so fluffy they're so nice they clean really easily with bleach and whatnot because I wipe my face off like at the end of the night with the hand towels and all the makeup comes out they've stayed looking really crispy and white and stayed fluffy so I highly recommend if you're moving to a new place perfect time to revamp your linens and these are the ones that I recommend 
And then also speaking of revamping things, these I also bought at our previous place but have gotten requests to, to link it to other people. Like for instance, Scott's mom stayed at our place while we were touring places here in Illinois before we moved here and she fell in love with our sheets and I felt like I needed to let you guys know because so affordable and they're really good and sometimes you have to replace white sheets every once in a while granted our last ones lasted us a really long time but sometimes white sheets and white bedding can just be really easy because uh, and towels as well because it just depends on what like what the vibe of your current place is let's say it's a more like industrial let's say it's very like homey and like outdated white linens white bedding can make it look really fresh so highly recommend these sheet sets i love it i think it's nice crispy and white but it's soft and it's super affordable all right let's move along to my next topic which is cleaning all right so this first item that i want to talk about is my bissell green mini shampooer we've had this for a while scott actually had it when he rented before we purchased um and this thing is amazing and i've already had to use it at this place we have an older dog she's about 14 years old and she has accidents every once in a while and we also have a toddler who has accidents accidents are inevitable they happen but if you're renting a place specifically you want to clean it as soon as possible to avoid any charges them replacing the carpet anything like that so um, dog stains kids stains all of it super quick and easy I love this shampooer it is small but it is mighty it is powerful so easy to use and I absolutely love this thing so if you've not picked up a mini shampooer and you have animals or kids or a husband who spills things get this I swear you're going to be impressed by the cleaning quality and I think that it is definitely a must-have it's easy to, to do stairs as well so you can avoid any cleaning charges that you might have when you move on okay, this next item I saw all over TikTok. I want to say I don't know I saw people talk about it I don't really look at TikTok, but I saw people talk about it they heard about it on TikTok. it is the pink stuff I got this because we have white um, marble countertops and they stain kind of easy if you don't get if you get things that just like for instance trying to think of what stains my matcha if I get some of the matcha on the countertop it can go deeper in and it can stain so I wanted to find something that I could clean the marble granite countertop situation and this stuff has worked amazing for it it's a gritty mildly abrasive cleaner and you just take a little bit kind of massage it in this is where I do use paper towels you can use a microfiber towel as well um, to kind of rub it out and it's abrasive mildly so it's not gonna hurt the granite in my place. definitely patch test it before you like do it on a main part of your your countertops but for me it works perfectly because it's abrasive enough to get out any of those deep stains you definitely want to get them as soon as possible but this stuff is amazing highly highly recommend it um, especially if you're renting because you do not want to have to like replace con like the the granite countertops obviously certain renters are a little more lenient with things but if this is a brand new build we are the only people to live here so if there's messes they know it was us so this has been a lifesaver at removing those stains from our marble countertops highly recommend all right speaking of cleaning my magic erasers have saved me so many times in this place um there are a couple things that we definitely need to paint over but small scrapes small dings in the wall or like scuffs on the wall whatnot you don't need to paint over try this use it very very lightly because again it is a mild abrasive cleaner so it does actually like remove some of the paint so you want to be very careful when you're using these but if you get them quick before they set in um, we had marks all up and down our walls from just like moving hitting furniture like I mean marks like not dents and dings I'm talking about just like scrape marks from boxes and whatnot this helped get all of those out and saved us from having to paint again you want to use these when you're moving out as well just to avoid any extra charges that you could have these are phenomenal all right and then last but not least let's move into my miscellaneous section I've got some really weird ones but let's jump in um the first one's not weird at all it's command hooks the variety pack is awesome it came with hooks it came with picture like velcro this stuff is amazing if you watch my vlog channel it does not work for shelves okay <laughs> we saw me fail real hard with that I don't know what I was thinking why I documented that why I put that up nonetheless don't do that okay actually use screws for that but we've hung pictures with this we've secured like we put our bed frame I mean our headboard 
Um, we use the Velcro just to like keep it in place, but it does have legs. So just different things. Um, we've used these literally everywhere, and I'm so happy that command hooks exist in this world because these are phenomenal. Um, so I loved this little multi-pack uh, that I was able to get on Amazon because we will use probably more and more to come. All right, so I did want to mention the difference. Obviously, command hooks, you can get just like the basic white ones, but they do also have these like brushed nickel ones. I liked these for my bathroom. I felt like our bathroom had really bad like towel bar holder placement situation. So I wanted some hooks for our towels that we use every day, as well as my hand towel. I didn't have a hand towel rack. So just different things that you could be like, why don't I have this? My old place had this command hooks. These look like they belong because they're nice finish. Um, they're not like the white ones. So they're like a look a little bit more permanent, like they were meant to be there, but you can remove them super easy by just pulling the tab when you're ready to move out. And you can bring these with you, which is, Awesome. Okay, this next one I don't physically have to show you, but it is cable covers. So we um, have surround sound in our uh, living room, and sometimes we would hide the cables through the walls. That's what we did at our last place. Um, but obviously this time we don't want to drill holes in the walls, and it's not permanent. So we wanted to get cable covers to make sure that a, our cables weren't exposed for our vacuum, for our low, for all those things. But also I love that this keeps it just nice and concealed against the wall. So these are awesome. If you're renting, highly recommend these. You can easily remove them and bring them with you, but they just kind of conceal those wires so you do not have to drill holes in the walls. If you are mounting your TV, again, you can drill and put your cords through the wall, but you can just run one of these down and it's good to go as well. Okay, if you are renting and you have wood floors, you need these little furniture like felt pads that go in the bottom of all of your furniture, your couch, your chairs, your dining room chairs, your literally everything so you're not scratching that wood floor. Wood floor is very expensive to replace and you don't want to have to deal with that. So definitely get these. They're super affordable. They do fall off and need to be replaced every once in a while, but they're just awesome. I We have multiple varieties for our um, floors so that we do not scratch them. Now, if you do happen to scratch your floor, and you want to make it look less noticeable to maybe avoid costs or let's say if you live in a really old place and they wouldn't know it was you anyways they have the, these little kits these can also be used for like furniture and whatnot that's what we originally have it for um these are the furniture touch-up things so it comes with a wax little pencil in there that you can go ahead and or crayon and fill in anything but it also comes with markers to kind of hide let's say if underneath the the wood is like a lighter color you can kind of hide it with that now i don't want you to be deceiving when it comes to your landlord but if you need to cover up some things that's probably what they would use anyway so go ahead and pick that up it's awesome to have on hand so you're not so so worried about your wood floors but do everything you can to protect those wood floors like your furniture covers don't wear shoes in the house don't get toys that we take from outside like bikes and bring them inside because you're going to ruin your floors and you want to make sure that you're courteous so those are all of my renter friendly amazon recent purchases but must-haves that i've had over the years but also new ones that we've added for this new rental that we're currently in i hope you guys found this helpful if you are moving cool let me know in the comments down below where are you moving to is it your first time you're moving with yourself you're moving with family friends anything like that I'm curious to know and then what are some of your must-haves rental situations I've been out of the rental game for a minute now so I'm curious to know what your must-haves are drop them in the comments down below I hope you guys found this video helpful and I'll see y'all in my next one bye